Good morning, church family. This is Jim Patterson, Minister of Pastoral Care at St. Mary's United Methodist Church. I'm doing my social distancing just like you are. Wow, we live in unprecedented times, a time that none of us has ever seen before. A time of social distancing, a time when all the restaurants are closed except for takeout, a time when we wonder what our new normal will be. Many live in despair because they wonder if there will be a job for them when all of this is over. In a time like this, when we experience all of this upheaval in our lives, what can we do? Where do we turn? Where do we find comfort and support? The greatest place to find comfort and support is in God's Word. And I was thinking about this just this week, and there's a passage in John 14 that reminds us something very important. In John 14, Jesus is offering comfort and encouragement to his disciples because he knows that he's going to go to the cross and they're going to be experiencing a very different life with him gone. So in verse 16, we find these words that he gives to them. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper that he may be with you forever. That is the spirit of truth. Of course, Jesus is talking about the Holy Spirit that would be given to the church. In this passage, the word helper is sometimes translated as comforter or advocate in other translations. It's important to note that in the Greek language, the word is parakletos. That word literally means one who is called to go alongside to help. Folks, during this time, we need someone to go alongside us to help us in these challenging times, a time when we're not sure what today or tomorrow will bring. And our God is with us, and he goes alongside us, regardless of what we may face. And as we go through this journey, he's with us and he lifts us up when we need support and we need help. And he reminds us that we are never alone. Also, it's important to note that those of us who are in the body of Christ can also become parakletos to our brothers and sisters, those in the family who need some support, those who need some help during this time. Well, how can we do that? Well, we can do it with a phone call. We can call someone and encourage them, and lift them up, and we can pray for them. We can write them a note of encouragement. We can reach out to people we know who are in need offer our support. Maybe something as simple as just going and buying groceries for someone who can't get out or is afraid to go out in public. Yes, we do live in challenging times and we don't know how long this will last. But one thing is for sure, God will be there with us. He will lift us up. He will be our strength. He will be our hope. And each of us can become paracletos to one another we can help one another during this time. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, during this time, we ask that you would be with us in a special way. Lord, remind us of your presence, that you are always alongside us. You are with us in the journey. Lord, we pray for those who are in the crisis right now, those who are infected, those who are treating those who are infected. We pray for those families who have lost loved ones because of this terrible disease. Lord, we pray today for our church that you would be with us. Strengthen us, Lord, and may we be a lighthouse and a beacon to our community. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.